if they're on bisphosphonates, you know, if they're on IV bisphosphonates, it's a more severe, you know, the, the risk of getting um, medication related to osteonecrosis of the jaw is, is higher um, than if you're taking an oral form of it. And I think the takeaway is, um, I guess the rule of thumb is that if they're on these medications, if it's less than four years, for patients who've taken the oral form for less than four years um, and have no other clinical risk factors, they said it's, you know, there isn't a necessity to make, necessarily make them stop, but you should definitely advise them that, hey, because you're on this drug, you could have a higher risk of yeah. having osteonecrosis. But for patients who have taken it, these oral medications, these oral bisphosphonates for less than four years and have other angio anti-angiogenic or corticosteroid medications that they're taking, or if they've taken it for over four years, the rule of thumb is you want to have them off it for two months at least, a drug holiday for two months, and then they can resume it once adequate healing is taking place. Um, so, you know, two months off before the implant and then two months off after is probably a safe bet. Um, but still, these patients, you want to counsel them just, you know, just at baseline, you're on these drugs. And even if we do this two months before break and two months after break, you're still subject to a higher risk than the regular drill on the street, you know? Awesome. Awesome. Thanks so much, dude. I, I really appreciate that.